Hey guys, you're watching Sergio. Before I get started with today's video, if you can please give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. And today's going to be a fun, exciting video on some new designer items that I have in my collection. So make sure to stay tuned because there's a lot of great things. And I have three items from three brands that I have never shot before. So it's really great because I get to explore some new brands. And this video is in collaboration with Farfetch. I want to say thank you, thank you so much, Farfetch, for collaborating me with this video. And you guys know I've been having a continuous partnership with Farfetch. For the last like almost a full year we've a few videos together and I feel like every single time it's always knocked out of the it's knocked out of the park so I appreciate that. Um, I do have a code with Farfetch and I'm going to go ahead and put it right here and I'll put it at the end of the video as well. You guys always know I always come through with a good discount code from Farfetch and you can buy some of your favorite brands. Um, some of the items that I'm purchasing now, Marc Jacobs, some Tory Burch, my other favorite brands, you can also use that discount code with, and all the terms and conditions will be in the description box. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with this. So the first item that we're going to talk about in this video, um, so let's talk about the inspiration of this curated kind of haul. So I feel like every single Farfetch video or every kind of haul has kind of like a theme with it. This theme, I kind of wanted it to be spring slash spring spring preview of items that I'm going to get wear out of. I wanted to make sure all these items were things that I was going to reach for, that I was going to wear for, and I have been using some of these items for the last few days, and so I'm here to kind of give my initial thought and review on the items. The first item is going to be from C by Chloe, and this one retails for $325. And this is C by Chloe, guys. You guys know if you've been watching my videos for such a long time, you know that I've been loving C by Chloe. I've always talked about great things about them. I always talk well about the Chloe brand. And the reason is because I find that Chloe makes exceptional leathers, regardless if it's the diffusion line like C by Chloe or mainland Chloe. I've always been a big fan of Chloe handbag. A year ago, I want to say I had Rent the Runway and I had rented one of these bags to wear for like two weeks. And I just kind of fell in love with it. And it's always been in the back of my mind. And people on live streams i've had a couple of you reach out via email ask me my thoughts and my opinions on c by chloe bags and i've always said that i've always loved the bags and that i like that they have a kind of designer look but without the designer price tag and this one comes in like i said at 325 it is the hannah leather crossbody bag and this one kind of reminds me of that kind of moddy gray that chloe uses in their marcy bags and this one has a nice mixture of has a nice mixture of suede um, with leather. And like I said, when you look behind me, you can't really tell what it is. But when you feel the bag, when you touch the bag, you know that it's good quality. But it's when you kind of go a little bit in close and, and you see right here, see by Chloe. I like that they didn't kind of put foil in it. I like that it's not metal. I like that it's just kind of discreetly there. And a lot of with the Chloe bags. You know what it is, but they don't scream like a big logo and branding. So I find that it goes well with whatever outfit you're wearing. And you know that the C by Chloe or Chloe bags are not going to clash with your outfit. And so that's why I went for it. I had it in my Rent the Runway. I used it for like the full weeks that I had the Chloe bag. And it's just been a bag that's always been on the back of my mind. And so so when the opportunity arose, I was like, you know what? I think right now is the time to get the C by Chloe bag. I've been wanting to, even when I go online, I've always kind of thought about, should I get it? Should I not? So I feel like this was like the perfect opportunity to get it in so let's go ahead and open this baby up I currently have her stuff as of now that they do use because it is the color Moddy gray um, so I'll kind of put the UPC here and so you just open it up and if it's just the essentials it has a little pocket here so you don't have to necessarily a card case or a little wallet I have my phone in here and it fits perfectly and you can fit a little bit more I do have a leather case and a pop socket so it definitely adds the bulkiness to the bag but you can definitely fit a lot more and it's just like the perfect kind of like this kind of gives me westerny vibes chloe has always given me that yeehaw vibe and i find that like as i get older i'm like i love texas so much and so i'm starting to appreciate more like western wear and i'm starting to purchase like more boots and like more like clothing like that and so for me i love anything that kind of has more kind of westerny inspire or goes well with that style and so you could see chloe bags in general has always given me kind of like that westerny vibe so i find that it kind of hits the kind of texas aesthetic it hits kind of like the south aesthetic and that's what i like about it i like the little beautiful charms on it I love the ring and look at the detail of the stitching on it like it is 
gorgeous you can tell that that's well made and what i like is that even though it's a diffusion line they also kind of include like everything that a original chloe bag would so as you can see here the little authentication sticker that's an all full line chloe bag so i like that even though it's a diffusion line they still include this so when i tell you this is really well made and it's sir par um just like the just like the mainline chloe bags diffusion lines are very hit or miss for me you guys know that i like i, I usually don't care for a lot of diffusion lines but I will say C by Chloe is really great quality. If not, it's probably like the same quality as mainland Chloe. And so that's the reason why I added it. I just feel like this would be the perfect item. I wear a lot of neutral colors. A lot of, so you can see this is like my palette for kind of spring as of now. So you got a lot of white, a lot of blue denim. You have like a little bit more neutral blazers, neutral colors. And so something like this will easily transition everything that I'm wearing. I like that it has a leather strap. So I'm not, sometimes I'm kind of iffy when it comes to straps. Sometimes I like, I don't really like the bags that have like chain and then strap or like strap and then chain. I like either to be all chain or all strap. And I like how this one has all strap and it has a couple of adjustments so you can make it to a shoulder or a crossbody bag this one i particularly bought uh it even smells so good um <laughs> i'm sorry about that just it does smell good this one i particularly bought to wear as a crossbody i actually bought these jeans from a goldie and i felt like they would be like the perfect match it's kind of like an off-white and i feel like this one would go really well with this chloe bag you can wear like a really pretty blouse and you know some some pretty like loafers sandals and it's like a perfect outfit so i bought um these jeans in mine with this bag i feel like they're kind of like a perfect combo i've been wanting to add a c by chloe bag for such a long time um you know ever since i had the bag on my rent the runway and i finally now have it so um c by chloe i'm mean, gonna be seeing me wear this throughout the next spring in summer so definitely definitely stay tuned on instagram and on youtube because i will be mentioning this and you'll be seeing me wearing this in vlogs but like i said the quality is really great i think 325 is a really great price point it's the same price point as a mark jacob snapchat so if you are looking for something a little bit different because also i don't really see a lot of people wear c by chloe here in texas i don't know about other places even when i go to florida or other cities i don't really see c by chloe a whole lot so if you are getting this this is not a bag they're gonna not see a lot of people wear but yeah, you can instinctively tell the characteristics of the bag that you can tell that this is a Chloe handbag. So this is C by Chloe uh, Hannah Crossbody and I love it so much. And next up is another brand. Like I said, there's brands that I have not talked about on this channel. So we have the C by Chloe. We love her. She's such a moment. Then we have another bag and this is from Pinko. This is my favorite contemporary handbags under $500. So if you do want to see that video, I'll leave that baby linked down below exact name of this and like i said everything will be linked down below guys this is the love leather shoulder bag and this one comes in at 295 so like again it's in that 300 dollars price point it's a reasonable price point um and in the here in texas there's no place of distribution for this brand and pinko is an italian brand irena shack is currently the face of the brand which i'll insert a photograph i love irena shack i think she's a beautiful model she actually did um a new campaign with anina bing which is one of the brand of this sweatshirt and another anina bing item i'm gonna show you soon and so I wanted to add a pinko bag. You guys have been asking me to review pinko bags, my thoughts, my opinions. So, um, and I actually really like the bag. So I was like, you know what, Sergio? This time around, let's let's start. Like, just in general, this year I want to add brands I like and that are my style, but that I normally don't reach for. I feel like I always kind of go for the same brands, and there's nothing wrong with that. But I'm just a creature of habit. It's the Virgo in me to get to do a lot of hand movement. And so when I saw this one, I just knew that I have to have it. You guys know I wasn't a big fan of white bags. Like two years ago and slowly but surely i've just been a big fan of white bags love 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 white bags so much this one is in this kind of smoother leather but it's like it has a little bit of texture in it so it it's it's a little bit i wouldn't say it's 100 scratch proof but it's a it's a lot more durable than what you see you see that it's smooth leather but it can it can take a little bit of wear and it won't necessarily sh share like if i kind of like put my nails through it i can see that it's not digging at it, it the leather still phenomenal well so it has this kind of like uh, off gold hardware it has these two beautiful bird details it has all these studs details it has a chain and what i like is that the chain is not on the inside it's not on the sides it's actually on the outside the chain on this is not removable this one is a one size it does hit me pretty well so 
I'll wear it as a crossbody and I'm about 5'11 and I find that it hits me well. I've always preferred my crossbodies to hit me higher just because if I'm out, let's say at the rodeo, which was a, a week, two weeks ago, which I was, um, I, I don't like my backs to be like super low, super high. I like my backs to be a little bit higher. And the reason is I like to have control of what I have. I don't like to just have my bag like this or like super low or like where people can kind of open it. I like usually like to have my bags um, kind of like either here where I can kind of see it or a little bit closer. I prefer my bags to be like a little bit more like this um, just because I like to have control but I think that the height is pretty well. I don't think it's super long or super short. I think for 5'11 it, it actually suits me pretty well um, and then as a shorter bag, it's a really great length as well. I think for me personally, I like this. I like the size of the strap. The strap actually is pretty, pretty well. This chain is really nice as well. It's nice and lightweight. It doesn't smell. It's not super heavy. It's not super lightweight. Like it actually has like a pretty decent like weight to it. Why I kind of went for it. I've never seen pinko bags in person. I never got to touch with them. So I was very curious when I ordered this online. And so when I got it online, I was actually really surprised. I, I like the chain. I like the strap on it. I like the, that it's white. And I also like the details that are inside of the bag. So the way you even open it is you kind of go like this. And you kind of have to go under so to open the bag. So I like that it's not a full magnetic. Because even if you stuff it, the bag is not going to open. You have to manually go under to open the bag. Inside, you have... A little pocket here and it has a magnetic closure so you make sure you know an extra sense of security it has a zipper um, which you can put maybe your card case a little bit more important stuff another main compartment and a back pocket so I like that it has these little extra details of like a little snap closure and a little back pocket because um, they definitely didn't have to include that in the bag and then on the inside it's just plain white and then on the inside it's kind of like this kind of microfiber kind of suede material on the inside and then on the back stitching throughout it and it has the two little birds here so the reason why i went for this one is a i wanted another white bag i feel like sergio can never get enough white bags i wanted something that i that looks a little bit more casualness and i also wanted something a little bit different than some of my other brands like i want people to actually come at me and be like sergio like what's this brand like I, i've never I, like i've never seen this or you know when i run into subscribers or like family members they know that i'm into handbags and that's my style so when people ask me you know sergio what's this bag they're gonna be like i can explain to them what pinko is and it starts a whole conversation it's a conversation starter even though it's white it has gold hardware it's very much a conversation handbag and that's what i liked about it and that's why i went for it it's very much that conversation starter many different things they actually have a really great selection of pinko bags and so if you do want to check out their entire range they literally have so much of them but like I said this bag you're gonna be seeing me wear a lot I love white bags I can never get enough white bags and 295 this is definitely um, um, a conversation bag and I think that this the price of this was also quite reasonable so this bag through the spring and the summer and this is a great bag to wear in the fall as well as the Chloe bag so I'm happy to have these two handbags into my collection, two new brands into Sergio's secret collection. Stay tuned because the last item is a wish list item that I that was on my wish. I don't believe I have, but the next item is going to be a sweatshirt. So I got this one last time with Farfetch. This is says Paris. This is Anina Bing. Um to get Anina Bing. I know Saks recently started carrying them, but they don't have a whole lot. It's like literally like close to nothing. Um, I know they're gonna open in the Anina Bing store in Austin, which I'm excited for that. But usually I always have to go online and either the Anina Bing website or Farfetch usually have the largest selection in that brand. And so I ended up getting another sweatshirt because you guys know if you want follow me on Instagram, which I suggest you do, they're probably sick and tired of me wearing this on my stories. I wear this all the time ever since I got it. I wear it. I like love this sweatshirt. I think it's so cute. I, I've worn it with like denim. I've worn it with trousers. I've worn them with athletic shorts, kind of more dressy up shorts. I've worn this with sneakers, with loafers, with the uh, with the white uh, tee collar popping out. I've worn this so many different ways and I know that I, this is this has already been worth it for me and I've already had another Nina Bing sweatshirts in the past and I just wear them so much so I season I wanted to add another one that I can wear a lot and so this one kind of reminds me of Harley Davidson um, and I take a size small in the Anina Bing sweatshirts um, I used to do like more larger sizes but I find that they change the sizing on it within the last year so definitely I go for size small versus medium or large what I used to do I also lost a little bit of weight as well so I would say um, get your it's a little bit of an oversized fit so definitely get a size smaller if you want to fit a little bit perfectly like mine it gives me harley daverson vibes it says anina being world tour established 2012 which is the year that anina being started her brand and then in the back here it has this anina being detail and it has like uh i must and it has all these locations where she has her store so 
Los Angeles, San Francisco, New York, Sydney, Paris, London, Hamburg, and Berlin. So it has all the cities that she opened them, but I just live and I breathe in Anina Bing sweatshirts. I have so much of her ready favorite brands to shop, really. I, I love anything that Anina Bing comes out with. Her style is very much my style. Um, it's very clean cut classic, maybe has like a little bit of a fun twist to it. And it's usually for the guy, the girl on the go. And so for me, when I saw this one, I said, oh yes, it gives me Harley Davidson, give me kind of like um, that biker vibe. I can wear this with shorts, I can wear this with jeans, just as how I would wear this one, I would wear this one as well. And I've already gotten my worth out of the sweatshirt and I'm still wearing it, as you can see I'm wearing it in this video. And you guys already see me wear this like on Instagram story like probably like two times a week. I'm just that obsessed with it. And I know that this one's going to be exactly the same. And yes, I did do, do a size small in this. But if you are interested in a nice quality sweatshirt or just a nice kind of like contemporary brand that's a little bit more on the cleaner side, like more core items, I would suggest Anina Bing. I really love her brand. And her brand definitely has like a lot of nice um, items in her collection. And like I said, Farfetch does have a good collection of that. So Anina Bing sweatshirt, I definitely love it and you guys know um i've been love anina being items i want to say like probably like two years now i've been a good anina being client item i would do a drum roll guys this has been a wish list item if you've been following me for well over two you guys know that this has been in many wish list videos i think i've done maybe like four wish list videos and i always kind of mention this hat and so i finally have it i cannot believe i have it finally i guess my size um because there's no place to buy this brand here in texas so i finally 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 have it and the item that I finally have in my collection is this hat. And this is a Misan Michelle hat. If you guys follow School of Affluence Anna Bay, she has Misan Michelle hats. She's talked about them in many of her videos on Instagram stories. She's always wearing them, particularly more in the summertime. And so I, ever since I saw her wear them, she's the only person that I got inspired to purchase this hat. So that, go, that goes to show you how long I've been watching her videos. Well over two years. And so... I just been wanting a Misan Michelle hat. I worked at Nordstrom, I didn't get around with buying them, and I just never got around with buying them. And now my last wishlist video, I told you guys, this is the year where I'm gonna buy the Misan Michelle hat, and look, now I have it. Um, this hat does, ride, does run true to size, so I am planning to grow out my hair. Um, it's probably a good link right now. Remember when I had shaved head, even like four months ago, my hair was super short. My hair goes back so fast. I am planning to have a little bit more longer hair, so probably like maybe like two or three more inches. I took a size large and it fits me absolutely perfectly. I feel like if I would have gotten um, a size medium, I feel like it would have been a little bit too tight and I do have a big head. Um, and so I just love it. I love this Vidora hat. I love the ribbing kind of going throughout it. I love the little Misa Michelle, just kind of very discreet, but I just love the detailistics of that. So well made, it is so beautiful. Um, the only thing I have to do is take care of it because um, this hat is not cheap, but it's definitely, the quality is there. And sometimes my hats, like even my cowboy hats, I um, have a bad habit of kind of like keeping up with them, but I told myself, Sergio, going forward, all your hats, regardless of price point, you have to start taking care of them. You cannot be trashing. And you guys know, I, I've been wanting this hat. You guys, it, you guys know, I've just been wanting this hat for such a long And this will easily go with everything. You guys know, I've been taking care of myself a lot easier. You guys know, I've lost weight. And one of the things that I do to protect myself is I should probably do like how I kind of change myself a little bit. So I don't leave the house without SPF, and that includes in my hands. I put SPF on my hands. Um, I drink so much water. I always like to wear some sort of hat, even though if I have like a fresh haircut or like fresh eyebrows like right now, I always like to, you know, make sure I'm protected by the sun. I always like to wear sunglasses. If I can wear more longer sleeves or longer trousers, I will. I'm Even if I wear sandals, I'm best believe I'm putting SPF on my foot. Like I'm just trying to take care of myself. I've been eating a lot well, been learning how to cook. I've been exercising, I've been doing new exercises. I'm doing yoga classes with one of my friends. So I've just been kind of like taking care of myself and kind of living the life. And so in a form, I kind of see this one as kind of like a necessity in a sense. It's not like a handbag or like um, or like uh, or like other things. I kind of see this more as a medical device because it protects me from the sun. You know, I don't. I want to age beautifully. I want to age pretty well. You guys know it. I'm 21, but I want to age really, really well. And so this Misa Michelle hat is definitely going to take me places. Yeah, guys, those are some of the new items that I have in the designer space. I'm so excited for my new three brands. See by Chloe finally making its debut on my channel. Well, even though I had, you know, See by Chloe through the runway. Pinko is a new brand, Italian brand, finally uh, in the Sergio Secrets collection. Misa 
Jean Michel finally into Sergio's Secret Collection, such a long time wish list item, and Anina being another great favorite that I've been loving for the last few years. So I feel like this was a nice curated little haul. I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you so much for you guys for watching this video. Los quiero, los quiero, los quiero mucho. Thank you so much, Farfetch, for collaborating me with this video. I appreciate you guys so much. And I do have a discount code again. So if you do want that discount code, I'll go ahead and insert it right over here. And all the terms and conditions will be down below, including the links to these items. And I, uh, the the link the discount code works with a lot of my favorite brands that I've do done in the past. So uh, Toy Birch, Marc Jacobs, Longchamp. So if you've been having your eye on something, Anina being the brands that I mentioned today, um, I think right now is a really great incentive. So um, they do worldwide shipping. The shipping is pretty fast. I remember I ordered all these like on a Wednesday. No, I ordered all these on a Monday, and I got them all by by Thursday. Everything already came. The Anina being sweatshirt came on Wednesday, and everything else came the next day. So everything came super super fast. So Thank you so much for watching this video guys if you have had any experiences with sc by chloe pinko or misa michelle i would definitely love to hear your opinions down below thank you thank you so much for watching this beautiful video guys y los miro hasta la próxima bye guys and thank you so much for watching